With all the protests going on right now, here's what to do if you come into contact with tear gas or you are maced. First, make sure you prepare beforehand. When you go to the protest, make sure that you have an eye covering and a face covering, whether it's a mask or a bandana of some sorts. Also, make sure to not wear makeup because the oils present in makeup will cling to the tear gas or the mace and make it even worse for your eyes, your mouth, or anywhere else on your face. If you do come into contact with either of these, whatever you do, do not rub, touch any part of your face because it will only aggravate and make the pain even worse. Find chilled milk as soon as possible and either pour it on your face or put it into a spray bottle that you can continually spray across your face in order to reduce the pain that you experience. When you get home, immediately take off all of your clothes and take a 20 minute cold shower to rinse everything off. Then take one part dish soap and three parts water, mix it together in a bowl and submerge your face for 15 seconds at a time. Don't rub your face, just slowly submerge because the soap will help to eat away at the leftover mace and tear grass on your skin. Share this video to help protesters and stay strong guys, Black Lives Matter. What to do if you're tear gas or mace part two because there's more information that needs to be spread about this to keep people safe. First, do not put milk directly in your eyes. While milk is effective for getting rid of the pain on the skin from tear gas and mace, it can lead to infection when put directly in the eyes and a lot of other issues that you just want to avoid. If you do use milk, either use goggles or keep your eyes completely closed until all the milk is rinsed off your face. Second, be careful about other water mixtures. I've seen people recommend baking soda or the different types of chemicals to mix with water to get rid of the burning sensation, but honestly there's a lot of other side effects with this and it's better to either go with just milk, not in the eyes, or just water. Third, if you are protesting, do not use milk that you find on the side of the road. Not only is non-chilled milk not going to be effective, but police are apparently spraying mace into the milk jugs to make it more difficult for the protesters to recover. And fourth, use airtight goggles and gloves. Not only is this going to protect you from getting tear gas into your eyes, it's also going to protect your hands so you can properly treat your wounds afterwards. I love you all, stay strong, keep fighting, and never forget, Black Lives Matter. I'm going to start off by saying that it's great that we're coming together and giving our money to funds such as Minnesota Freedom Fund, Reclaim the Block, George Floyd Memorial Fund, and many more. However, it's also important that we practice not giving our money to companies that are underpaying people of color and supporting injustice. Even if you're too young to vote, your chance to vote is every day through you and your family's purchases. If you're going to buy from a bigger corporation, check to make sure that everyone is getting paid and treated as equals. One way to check for that is to go to bcorporation.net slash directory and see which businesses are B Corps, meaning that they are evaluated and found to be at the highest standard for positive social and environmental impact. Another way is to support local businesses that are black and or minority owned. This is important to me because I want all of us to make a difference. That being said, I know I don't understand and will never fully understand what it's like to be on the receiving end of such strong oppression. So instead of continuing to educate you guys in an area in which I'm still learning, Please think about your actions, your purchases, your likes, your views, and your words as you continue to listen to the people that need to be heard. Thank you. I will strike down upon thee great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my sisters. And you know my name is the Lord. Yo, just in case you're wondering, this is what they're shooting. These, this is what a rubber bullet looks like. And... And it hurts enough to make so much damage. I don't know why I just did that because that made a mess. Sorry, Zach. But for reference, this is what they're doing. You All right. You guys. Is this your shop? Yeah. And they are you pissed about it? How do you feel? I'm at work. I'm alive. I don't support ignorance, but I understand it. People are tired. They yeah. are tired of this. Stop killing innocent people. I'm a small business owner. And I understand what you guys are going through because I feel the pain. Yeah. But sometimes y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do. Up. Don't hurt nobody, don't kill nobody. This place is destroyed, yet he still appreciates the movement. <laughs> so, so, you got me, man. Yeah.
killing innocent black men. Yeah, but you take it out on, on your own people too at the same time. Hey, people, when people are hurt, they holler. Yeah. I'd rather lose my business. In, in, in you alive, I'm alive. You guys want to support this business? It's called the small shop. You, got, hey, you have a good attitude. Pray for the beer. Huh? I'm going to be here.